possible prison sentence after she knocked down children as they left their school in Liverpool. Their lives have been devastated. Young girls whose glittering futures and careers are now very, very much in jeopardy. Norma Stokes admitted five charges of dangerous driving. Also tonight, reunited after a frantic search, now questions over why two little boys went missing overnight. After the devastation of the floods come the floods of visitors. The Lake District's tourist economy bounces back. And the battle lines are drawn for the first Roses game of the season. Foes on the pitch, but friends off it. I love Lancashire and Chris uh, he loves um, Yorkshire and, you know, it, it's good opposition. Okay, the best team wins. One of the young victims was left with brain damage and her parents say she'll never be the same again. Today, the 80-year-old who knocked down children as they left their school in Liverpool pleaded guilty to five counts of causing serious injury by dangerous driving. It happened earlier this year outside the Belvedere Academy in Toxtus. Norma Stokes could be jailed when she's sentenced tomorrow. Lindsay Prosser reports. It was a Friday afternoon and the girls were looking forward to the half-term break. Within moments, five had suffered life-changing injuries, hit by Norma Stokes's car. She, by her own admission, was driving dangerously. Norma Stokes wanted to pull out of this junction. The traffic was too heavy for her to do so safely, but she pulled out anyway. One eyewitness said she looked angry, another said he had to brake to avoid her. She then hit bollards in the road before veering onto the pavement. She told police she was trying to brake, but instead she was pressing the accelerator. They have before them now a never-ending series of medical appointments, surgery and tests that will go on for many years. Their lives have been devastated. Young girls whose glittering futures and careers are now very, very much in jeopardy. The girls suffered a variety of injuries, including brain damage, broken limbs and deep lacerations. For legal reasons, we can't identify them. However, their parents submitted impact statements to the court. The parents of the girl who'd suffered serious head injuries said she now suffers from epilepsy, diabetes and short-term memory problems. Her consultant said her brain injuries meant that they were leaving hospital with a child who was different to the one who'd gone to school on that fateful morning. The judge said all sentencing options remain open and he'll pass sentence on Norma Stokes tomorrow. Lindsay Prosser, BBC Northwest Tonight, Liverpool. Now, investigations are underway into how a motorist drove five miles the wrong way round the M60 in Greater Manchester. The driver of the red Ford Fiesta crashed with three vehicles while forcing others to brake and swerve sharply. Luckily, there were only minor injuries. Services have been held today to commemorate the men who died in the Battle of Jutland. Among them, one held.